Okay, so let's continue with our discussion since we're done understanding. And I also um, showed you an example um, how to use um, impotype in doing the if statement. Right now, we'll be, uh, we need to proceed to if else statement. So we understood that if a condition will hold example true, then the block of code within if will be executed. But what if the condition is not true and we want to perform an action? This is where else comes into play. So if a condition is true, then if the block gets executed, otherwise else block gets executed. So basically, just like what I keep on repeating uh, for the if else statement, uh, basically you, you have two possible results, right? And also, if you will just check this flowchart, uh, we have a condition here. So again, this is logical or comparative. It really depends on the problem. Then if, if the result is true, it will do a process since this is a rectangle block. Also, if the statement or if the, sorry, if the result is false, it will go directly and process it before it will do something and execute the program. So in our syntax for PHP scripting, this is basically the same um, condition then else. No need to put a condition in the else, okay? Don't forget that. So this is the, um, the, the this is actually the content we shot uh, for our, uh, from our, uh, for our coding um, in our, uh, in the last video. Um, this is actually should be the negative one okay so let me try to edit the code one moment I'll just copy that and I'll be creating a new one then I'll be saving it if else statement one that PHP okay there you go so then else, all I need to do, one moment, um, getting or determining positive or negative number. Okay, one moment. Mm -hmm. I'll just, I think no need for me to put in alignment to be centered. Okay. Uh, uh, okay aside from that one I just need to go and put the else here so num1 is a oh sorry for the spelling um, negative number aside from that by the way guys I, I know that I will be discussing the post and the get method in our next succeeding or in our next video lecture but I would like to show you another ways I know that some of or most of you here are using phones so for those um, users who are actually using phones um, you can actually use something like this just like what I did okay for those users uh, or for those computer users you can actually get this one create a new file then separate your PHP code here and I want you to save this one for example if else um, content continue that PHP okay so basically here all you need to do is to put the form then the action then get um, oh, put the file name of your um, of your PHP file which is if else continue dot PHP there you go you will see the difference because here um, it will only show in one page uh, for this one it will show um, two different pages okay let's see and Let's see if it, this will run. Uh, local holes there. So if else, of course, you need to um, open 
not the PHP, uh, not this file that contains all the PHP codes, but you need to open the file that contains the um, the HTML one. Okay, so uh, this one, there you go. So enter a value, for example, negative 45. When you click submit, it will route to the next page that it will say 45 is a negative number. Okay, so if you'll go back and refresh it, um, 90, submit. There you go. Okay, that's actually two different ways on how to um, on how to use the form action in our coding. Okay, but for those phone users, all you need to do is just just like what we did here. After the body, you can actually put your PHP codes here. Okay, so let's go back. This is actually correct. We're done with that. So this is should be our activity. So create the PHP script. If you will, um, if you will have our face to face, normally this should be our activity. So create a PHP script that will determine who's the largest interpreted um, integer by the user. So for this one, I'll just need to go ahead and shared. Um, okay, one moment. I'll be creating a new file. One moment. Uh -huh. I'll be saving it. If else statement statement two dot php. Okay, so since we will be asking two inputs from the user, so I just need to put here largest number okay one moment largest number then enter the first value next and enter the second value so I'll be changing the name to val2 or value2 and I'll be adding more here then changing this one to two then let's see oh, it's the largest so basically all i need to do is just to compare the value of the variable num1 if it's greater than two the value of the variable num2 okay one moment so num1 is the Sorry for my background. Background noise. Okay. It's the largest number. Okay. And else. Echo. I just need to go ahead and put something like this. Num2 is the largest number. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if this will work. Localhost. Then if else statement number 2. There, so enter the value number one. It's forty-five. Now value number two is seventy-eight. So of course, seventy-eight is the largest number. Next one, um, we have uh, nine. This one is two. Nine is the largest number. So we got it correct. Good job.